There's no sport like it. There really isn't. Hockey is a game truly like no other. High speed, constant, high adrenaline. That speed impacts everyone. That transfers into the fans, too. Players, fans, and officials. Imagine trying to make the right call in a matter of seconds. We are expected to be judge, jury, and executioner within milliseconds. Ron Grithiti has been on both sides of the whistle for most of his life, nearly 40 years as a player, 25 more as a referee. I'm the guy that, you know, does this. And I heard from so many people, put on some you know wedding stripes or shut up, and I decided, okay, fine, I'll give it a try. In his quarter century wearing those stripes, plenty of people have run their mouths to him. But he says the most recent years are unlike anything he's ever seen, culminating in a moment this past fall. And the dad in there is just screaming at me that I called too many penalties on their team. And he slams the door in my face, just about knocks me back onto the ice. Ron says he thought that was the end. And he grabs a big can, of industrial sized can of Lysol. And I thought, oh my God, he's gonna throw it at me. And I, I went to put my hands up and instead of throwing it at me, he just walked up and he fogged me right in the face. Solid blast. I don't know what kind of switch goes off in somebody's mind that says, I'm going to spray some Lysol on that guy's face because I don't like the way he officiated, but that has to come to an end, period. There's no place in sports for that, none. There may be no place for it, but refs around the state and around the country say it's happening more and more. Oh, we got angry parents. We're losing probably at least 50% every year of, of people that sign up to try this and they do it for a little while and they just go, I'm done. In Denver, they, they uh, estimate that they're, I think, about 70% down uh, in officials this year from where they were pre-COVID. Okay, keep going. Rob Coggin is the referee in chief for Colorado's Amateur Hockey Association. The John Ron Grithiti retired from a few years ago. Coggin says his ref numbers took a hit because of the pandemic, but bad behavior aimed at refs isn't helping. It seems to have gotten worse at, at times in different places. Line up, line up, line up, let's go. Coggin runs the ref clinic for the state, trying to recruit as many people as he can. People as young as 13, like Ethan Bartholomew. I make about 200 to three to $400 a month. Not bad for a first job. It's still big for a kid my age. But at 13 years old, a couple of games in, Ethan already had his first run in with a mouthy parent. I gave her a warning and then right when I turned around, she started chirping at us again and then I threw her out. I don't like it, but I can understand why they did it, but I still don't like it. Ethan, Rob, and Ron will all tell you these parent problems are the outliers. Hello! Hello. There are a lot of good people in the stands. They're just to enjoy the game, root for their kids. But the bad ones are loud enough to scare a lot of refs away. If I go to the airport and I start screaming at the, at, at the, uh, the gate attendant behind the gate, I'm going to be escorted out by TSA and probably have charges pressed. So, like, I don't know why people think it's okay to come and yell and scream at the referees, but it, it's just not. That's why Rob's predecessor, Ron, has an idea. If a parent acts up, create consequences for the kids. We should be able to assess a minor penalty on the offending team and their captain will go sit in the box for a couple of minutes. Because consequences lead to conversation. You're gonna to have to explain to your son or daughter when you're driving home, well, you lost that game because I cost you a penalty. And that conversation might help a parent refocus. This is about your children. You've put your children into a sport to teach them sportsmanship, to teach them trust in teammates. To, to give them the opportunity to grow as athletes and to grow as people and to form friendships that last forever. Don't destroy it. Don't act like an idiot. It's not your game.